So the next fibre in the September Hilltop Cloud No More Fibre Club is this one and this is textured sari silk. Um, it's what happens to all the waste bits and pieces from the sari weaving, the silk weaving industry over in India. Um, historically in, in the UK this is a sort of fibre that could be, shod, be called shoddy um, and there was a huge tradition of spinning shoddy in this part of Wales and in lots of other parts of the country it was considered perfectly suitable fibre for spinning into textiles in that whole let's not waste what we've got. It's made up of fibres that are addicted to different mixtures of length, some with which which have become more opened out like the ordinary bits of silk, others of which have got far more thread in them. If you want to spin it with a short forward drawer, that will be the way to get the smoothest, most even thread, but you will have to concentrate quite hard and be willing to keep your hands quite close together and really go for an inchworm style technique. If you're willing to be a bit freer, however, it spins very nicely with a form of point of twist straw, whichever one suits you that you like best. Um, and that kind of keeps the texture a little bit looser. You'll end up with some bits that are a little bit thicker, just where you've ended up with a clump of the waste that's not quite so open. And that makes for a really quite a nice sort of soft softer fluffier yarn it'd be really nice applied with something else if you wanted to get go for a yarn that did have a bit more bounce and elasticity to it but equally it does work quite nicely as a yarn purely by itself though if you're going that way i'd recommend putting lots of twist in because this is a yarn that will tend fiber that will tend towards pilling and ending up looking quite messy quite quickly Equally, it's a blend that most of you are probably more familiar with when it gets put into blends and that sort of thing. So if after trying a little bit, you just go, oh no, this isn't for me. Add it to some blends on a blending board or a drum card or, or even on your hand carders and it's absolutely beautiful. Just these tiny little flecks of colour. You sort of end up with a tweed style yarn, but with even more variety in the texture and everything else. So it's an interesting fibre to spin, definitely one that you can spin on its own and produce these quite sort of beautiful subtle yarns with tiny little flecks of colour. And it ends up being a yarn that actually feels really quite soft. I'm not filming in the same light as normally so I'm struggling with high contrast at the moment but yeah so I hope you enjoyed that one.